The British embassy in the Libyan capital Tripoli, ransacked and burnt. The Italian diplomatic mission also set alight, a torched roof testament to the fury of the attacking mob. Also the American embassy, looted. The buildings were all empty at the time. It's thought the vandalism was in retaliation for a NATO airstrike on a Gaddafi compound in Tripoli that Libyans say killed one of Muammar Gaddafi's sons and three grandchildren. They called it an assassination attempt and a violation of international law. This was a direct operation to assassinate the leader of this country. This is not permitted by international law. It is not permitted by any moral code or principle. The British declared the Libyan ambassador persona non grata and gave him 24 hours to leave the UK. And the United Nations announced that 12 staff members based in Tripoli had now been moved to Tunisia for safety reasons. British Prime Minister David Cameron reiterated that the NATO actions were in line with the United Nations resolution to protect the Libyan civilian population. Targeting policy is in line with UN Resolution 1973. It's about preventing the loss of civilian life by hitting the Gaddafi war machine that is... And let's remember, you know, while okay. Gaddafi said All right. he wanted a ceasefire, he was mining the harbour in Misrata in order to blow up vessels that were bringing humanitarian aid in. to help the people that he is murdering and killing with his snipers, All right. All uh, rockets okay. and artillery. Dramatic footage from Misrata on Sunday showed the immediate aftermath of heavy shelling in the port area. Checkpoints appear to have been targeted, and a number of people have been injured. Some reports suggest that as many as 12 people may have been killed during the sustained attack. The port remains the only lifeline for the beleaguered city that is surrounded on three sides by pro-Gaddafi forces. Fighting here has been going on for nearly three months. The increased attacks on Miserata, the torching of diplomatic missions, and the withdrawal of the small UN contingent are worrying developments in a fight that shows no sign of ending anytime soon. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera.